all of the terrorists that uh, made it in. The scenes are out of a zombie movie. It's a war zone. And I've heard a seasoned war correspondent who, after walking there, described it as the worst thing he has ever seen. Nothing less. And that should tell, tell you something, how horrific the scenes were. Uh, so, out of 1,000 people, Israelis, who lived in this beautiful community, more than 100 were killed. And today the body bags, many body bags, were uh, evacuated from that kibbutz, including those of children, and including those of babies. And we got very, very disturbing reports of, uh, that came from the ground that there were babies that had been beheaded. And I admit, it took us some time to really understand and, and to verify that report. And it was hard to believe that even Hamas could uh, uh, perform such a barbaric act. But after eyewitnesses came forward and after a senior official in the Israeli coronary service, Zaka, came forward on record on CBS News and said, yes, I saw the bodies of beheaded babies. I think we can now say with relative confidence that this is unfortunately what happened in Be'eri. This is what Hamas did to Israeli civilians. There was bodies scattered everywhere, mutilated, uh, women and children that were handcuffed and shot, executed, houses torched and burned, and people who were either burned inside or suffocated, those that Hamas couldn't get in and uh, force them out. Those were the scenes in uh, Kibbutz Beri, and in a sharp turn, I would like to go straight into the Gaza Strip and speak a little bit about Hamas, what Hamas has in the Gaza Strip and under the Gaza Strip, because there is much more than meets the eye and much more than what you see on news coverage of cameras that are uh, gazing at the uh, Gaza horizon and all of a sudden there's a plume of smoke and perhaps a building collapses as a result of an Israeli strike. That doesn't tell the story of what's going on in Gaza. The story is as follows. This area, the Gaza Strip, is one of the densest populated areas in the world, about 20 miles from one end to the 